So this sampling always representative? Interesting question, well I'd argue. First of all, just make sure you know what sampling is. You can highlight the difference between random and non-random. And then it's all about the fact you can't sort of the whole population, you've got to take a percentage off a particular group. Uh, in most cases we do look at representativeness, which is about generalising and also about the use of sampling frames to achieve that. We can then talk about the fact that there are those out there that tend to use random sampling, mainly associated with a quantitative approach. It's an equal chance, it's felt to be unbiased and felt to be representative in nature. And you can talk about random, stratified random, systematic and quoted as different examples of achieving that. But make the connection where possible to quantitative data and other quantitative data concerns and issues surrounding objectivity. But then you might want to say that at times, people who particularly want qualitative data are not so concerned about representative data. They're not too concerned about it having to follow that scientific rigour. And it may well be dependent upon the topic being studied or the specific group the fact there's not sampling frames that are available and that some groups are actually quite hard to study. And in those occasions, these kind of sampling methods are probably best to be used. If it's to be high in validity, you've got issues there where you get around access, right time, right place, the contacts are there. And think about the kind of topics and the kind of subjects that you could consider there. So ultimately, does sampling always need to be representative? No, it doesn't. Depends upon topic and depends upon access. And depends on the concerns. However, I'm sure the positivists would have something to say about that. And interpretivists challenge them.